Hi and welcome to Add to More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at One Four Seven, and it is time to de-kit um, this painting. So it is finished. Um, this is a quirky one from DIY Choose. Home is where you poop most comfortably. Um, but yeah, it is finished. It was only a little small one, so it didn't take too long. I've just got washi tape, um, just where the glue is around the edges to stop it picking up bits. But it is time to put it away, de-kit. But now we also have, in addition, the logbook. I need to make sure that I fill in the logbook and get in the pattern of making sure that I fill it in in the different stages. So I will say thank you so much to Elaine who posted that she uses our um, Add More Zest pouch to store her logbook. Amazing idea. I sort of tend to, to use it to store bits and pieces um, if I'm, you know, taking a diamond painting somewhere with me. I tend to pop my tray and my cover paper and all those sort of bit bits in. But really good for storing the logbook because I have noticed it has just picked up bits from being used so much at the moment. Um, so if you watched my video yesterday, I did um, work on the next section of this logbook um, and actually started filling in the logbook entries. Now I do have a couple that I still need to do the photos for. I'm thinking I'm going to print them out on the computer for these customs which is why they're not filled in yet but they will be by the next time I do my logbook. However I need to get in the nice habit. I need to keep things going right. So I've finished. Home is where you poop most comfortably and that is on here. So it is November, November 2021. I'm going by month. I'm making life a lot easier for myself. Um, so that one was a finished one. That one is a finished one that I've not yet put the details in um, because I say I'm still sort of filling in the logbook, but I'm trying to make sure that going forward, I'm very conscious of filling in my logbook. So ideally, I'd already have the page ready with a picture, all that sort of stuff, but I don't for this one because I haven't done the round canvases yet. So we'll have to fill one in. So home is where... I'm going to put the full title for this because the space you poop most comfortably. Anybody else say words very weird when they're writing them down to make sure they spell them right. So it is a 30 by 30. It's a poured glue and it's a full drill. Canvas quality had zero problem with canvas quality. Didn't have any imperfections, anything, any of the symbols weren't weird, none of that. So number of colours is 18 colours. It is a round diamond painting. Ooh, trust me to politics. It's not an AB or a rhinestone. We've got a yes. The drills on this were actually really nice as well. I didn't have any that were sort of particularly misshapen there wasn't um there may have been the odd one that was a slightly smaller size but in general the drills were good so i am going to give that a four i'm going to save a five i think for when things you know give me absolutely zero problems whatsoever um i'm being a bit mean i suppose but it's my record i want to know if it was top of the shop or just below so I'm going to give it a four, um, which is still high in my grading system. It's still good diamonds. There just was the odd one um, or, you know, odd few that were a little bit smaller than others. And they, 
they have a nice shine to them but I wouldn't say they have lots of facets and a, and a big sparkle. So it was purchased from DIY Choose. Um, I'm not sure of the date ordered and stuff. It was one that was gifted to me. Customer service has been fine. Oh, uh, now, because I haven't actually started noting stuff down, I haven't, uh, I don't actually know the date started and the date I finished this. I know I'm de-kissing it now, but I know I finished it the other day. So that is something that I think I'm going to get a little bit better at as my logbook goes on. Um, enjoyment wise, I'm going to give this, um, I'm going to give it a four. I think there was enough confetti and not confetti. It wasn't the brightest, which is what didn't make me go, you know, for a five. I mean, that's the picture more than it is the company. Um, but overall, it was a really nice painting to do and it made me smile. It was quite quick to do, actually, because it was round as well. So I've kept it. Final thoughts. I'm going to go for a four. Because really, most of my most of my responses have been a four, apart from the canvas that was a five. And I don't particularly think I've got anything else that I need to say notes-wise. I did, look at me getting prepared, I did take a picture of the finished image. As you can tell, this camera is not the best at giving a true reflection of colours, but it gives me enough to know what it is. It's not showcasing the green and stuff very well. But that is the sprocket. And that is what happens, you know, from by getting these cheap little quirky cameras. They don't give you the best outcome. I was gonna take a picture of the image on the website to put up first. But then I thought, while I'm being prepared and actually doing my logbook as I de-kit the painting, let's put in a DMC chart and vary things up a little bit. I know I did it on um, the AB mystery one that I completed in my logbook yesterday. But while I have this one here, I'm then going to have more options of things I want to keep. Now I'm consciously paying attention to the logbook. So I'm going to trim it a little bit closer. The glue doesn't overhang or the, you know, the excess glue doesn't overhang very much on this side. But I do need to cut it a little bit closer just to make sure that I don't end up with any of it. So I'm going to cut all the way around the table because I'm all, all for having the same sort of edge cut round. I'm going to keep the little bit that says drill table. And I'm going to use this. I think I'm going to, I did put the picture so that it was close as possible to the edges this side so that I could cut it down into a square. And why I like these sprockets as well is they are, should we go for that way? Go for that with a little bit of a, a little bit of a flick so we can still see the diamond. I like these because they're stickers. So the lazy part of me really likes these. I think I just need to move a little bit further over. Does that work? Ah, that works enough. And then I have got my trusty, uh, you can just use double-sided tape and stuff on this. I'm just gonna use my glue dots because they allow me to wipe it off when I make a mess. I always like things that will forgive me if I want to change them up. <laughs> so I've got my key, my finished item. I've got the details that I have got for this. Hopefully the details will get better. I am looking now and thinking that that should move over. This is why I use the glue. And this is why I also like these pictures. Because if you're gentle, 
they do come up without trashing your page. I feel like I want it just a little bit further over and then I can just rub that and get the glue dots off. I need it a bit closer to the middle of the diamond. It's still a little bit off, but it's better. I can live with that. Okay, rubbish away. So while we've half hacked the canvas already, I think I'll finish with the canvas and then I'll put the diamonds away. So yeah, not loads of information on that, but enough that I have a record, I have pictures. I might try and put in some dates. I might even just put in November and actually just have what we've got at the beginning. In fact, I'll just do that. So November 21 and I finished it in November 21. I'm sure it was only in November to November. Um, time spent, nothing there and I will fill in at least the date ordered and I'll put what it you know what it should cost what it was on the website um, and then somebody did mention a code to use um, when I'm like been given it like a, a promotional product type thing rather than just putting free that might work better I can't remember what code she said <laughs> It was only a shortened code. So I am going to have a look through my comments. Um, I did sort of read that one, but I've not actually gone through comments to respond yet. Somebody also did mention in relation to the total drills, you can take the measurement and times it by, it was one number for squares and another number for rounds and it gives you the total drills. So I will have a look at that as well. And if that is the case, then I'll be able to fill in total drills on, on all of these that are done. Um, oh, I could have put in there. I need to put one of, one of the images here at the front. Um, I didn't put one before because I didn't want to mess up and, and mess up my front cover, but now I've established exactly how I'm doing my logbook. Um, which was established in my last logbook video. Like I've, I've finalized how all this is gonna look. Um, I could go back and do it. See that one, I put the key down here and then I put the original picture, which was a mystery and the finished picture. Whereas on this one, I've just put the key and the actual image straight on. Um, I may think about writing something. I'll think if something springs to mind. But logbook is completed. Stash section, I've updated with the date, so I know I've done it. Okay, so all that's done. So let's get the canvas away. I haven't got anywhere that I'm gonna frame this yet. I may decide to put this in my bathroom. I've not yet decided. So I am going to put it, because I've not got an exact place, because there's actually not a space in my bathroom wall without me doing a rejig. And that's what I'm not sure if I want to do yet. Um, in our bathroom, we actually have um, like a, a mini photo wall, but of places we've been, not with people in them. It feels weird to have somebody looking at you while you're on the toilet. Um, but we do have scenery pictures from places that we've been around the world and the UK. Um, and I don't know, I don't think I want to take them down. Uh, but we do have another wall with some plaques on. And I may put this one up there. I'm still, I'm still deciding before I commit. So for now, it can go into my display book because that will keep it safe and it won't stop me from framing it in any way. So that's the painting cut down. So what I need next, this is one of my display books. I'm on display book number two. There's some of the paintings you've seen in my log book. And then I need a sheet of card. I don't know why I got the 
display book out before the sheet of cards because now it's going to get in my way. Get over there. So that, I think, I could do it in the middle, but I feel like I do a lot of them in the middle. And then I need my double-sided tape. I do use double-sided tape for this. It will still peel off if I need it to, but I'm not as bothered if this sheet of card, if I did decide to peel it off and this sheet of card got ruined, then I'm fine with that. That's a, you know, quick straight replacement. It's not something that needs a lot of attention. Come on. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Everybody's probably staring at me going, that's not the way you normally do it. So normally what I do is line it up so that I'm happy with how it looks. I'm trying to be gentle because I've taken one off. And then I normally lift it up, lift one side up and take the tape off. And then let it go down and it'll just sit stuck while I do the third piece. I'm obviously losing it this morning. So there we go. Home is where you poop most comfortably. And then... I might start using these as well. So these are our completed stickers. And I can have a little reference on here then. So this is going to be called Home is where you poop. Just about fit that in. Date start slash finish. So I'm going to do November 2021. Purchase details. It's DIY choose, wasn't it? Yeah. DIY choose notes um, four stars. Let's just put four stars, which is what I gave it overall. And I can always look in the logbook if I want more. So now I need to decide where I want this. Do I want it? No, I don't think I want it in the bottom corner. I think I want it near the painting. I think I'm going to go this side. This is the things I have to decide when I start doing new stuff. <laughs> so I'm going for the bottom, a bit like a, um, I, I'm thinking artist gallery. That's what I'm thinking. And then, this is also what Elaine did, if I let me get my trimmer because then I can put it straight, is she took her stickers that she uses and she did actually cut down one of our, the bag that they got delivered in, bag that they got sent in to protect them from the rain. And she keeps them with her love book. I think that's amazing. So I'm going to keep that with the log book because that is something that I will definitely need at the same sort of time as my log book. I might actually put some of the stickers for kitting up and stuff in there as well because those stickers are used when I kit up and I also need my logbook for that. So I think it's all these little things that are going to help me to um, fill in all the information that I want to fill in at the right time rather than forgetting. That's my hope. I just need to remember to to do them when I get the painting. Actually, if I put my stickers in there for, um, so these stickers, the ones I use to label up the canvas and the diamonds, because I do that when the paintings come in, then I have to grab this to get those stickers, which will remind me to fill in my logbook. Oh, Elaine, you're making my life so easy. Thank you. Sometimes it's just the little things that help you to sort your life out. So home is where home is where you poop is in. 
and it's in my log book. How good's this? Um, I might actually do a little sticker. There's things I need to sort of go through, and but I might definitely do a little sticker for this one because it's in my log book. Um, I don't think it will work as well with these big ones. I could potentially put them on the back, but I feel like on the big ones, it's possibly not worth me going all the way back. Let's stick with the fact that they were done and let's do them go. They weren't done and I'll do them going forward. Um, but I think I'll add it on that one because I want to add this daisy. Um, I've still got a couple of things I want to do with this before it goes away. But the daisy will be going down here so I can put the daisy sticker here and the AB one there. Oh, pretty. Okay. 20 minutes in and I've not yet put a diamond away. How good am I doing? It's because I'm starting on new stuff. <laughs> so, logbook is definitely now done. This is a work in progress. I will end up adding more stickers in as I go along. Canvas is away. Time to put the diamonds away. So they are all around, which means that will be a little bit quicker for me. I did go to get another one of these photo boxes, Hobbycraft didn't have one. Um, I'm thinking of changing to the rose gold ones, but I'm also trying to decide if I want to split between square and round and have them in different boxes. And that gives me the opportunity to pretty up with new stickers in a different colour. So yeah, I'm, I'm half and half between um, moving round and square and splitting them up or keeping them all in one box because I know by keeping them all in one box I am saving having you know double of this and double of this but I'm also I do like the idea of of it being one lot of round and one lot of square I'll get there okay 169 let's start with that and I'm on round, so I am pulling out the bags from the front. And let's see how long it takes me to de-kit all of, all of these. Let me get down a little bin I was gifted. It's very handy. It fits on a little bookcase above my desk. If you've seen my craft room tour, You'll see my little bookcase. It's covered by my studio lights. It's holding my camera, but it does have a little space for me to tuck my sealer when I use that for diamond paintings. And it houses this little this little bin that is perfect when I'm de-kitting. Okay, 310 in round I know will be full because I just have so many round diamonds. So that one will go in my extras extras after. 317 in round is actually full enough as well. And this is another thing that I may do. 318, I'd also say, is pretty much full enough. Is I might be able to do myself a little list of what is full enough. So what I was thinking I might do, if I don't spill all these everywhere is I might get the, the logbook spares list, so the list that houses your spares, and I might just do a little highlight marker um, to determine if the bag is full, and I can sort of go through that before I de-kit and know if, if there's some that are just you know, to be given away. Two others. I need to do another browse on the Facebook site and see if there's any that people want. That one's borderline, but I think I'll fit these in. It was only a small painting, so it's not got too many, too many diamonds in it. What I need to do is I need to test how easy so, for example, this 154, how easy is it when it slides, when a bag slides against two pieces of cardstock?
compared to it sliding against a piece of cardstock and a bag. I don't know that it makes that much difference. I think it makes a difference when the box is too full, but we all know my box is too full. Okay, four, five, two. Four, five, two, in round. I feel like this box is a mile away from me. Four, five, two. And then let's lift that up so that I can see where 453 is. Look at me going for two at once. It's because they were next to each other. It's not time to hunt for another number if they're one after another. Stickers taken off. Stickers definitely do come off a lot easier if you've used the case before and put Goo Gone on it before they do come off a lot easier. So five, two, four. Oh, not had this one. And in fact, I put my logbook away and that means I'm not yet done with it. Because, and this is why it's handy to have it still about, in my spares, I have noted down all the colors that I have some of. 524 I'm putting in a fresh bag which means I can now tick that I have 524 in round. This is why I think that I think I need to keep my logbook in my pouch with some stickers that I use the most often or that I find I'm starting to use at the same time as my logbook and just keep them all in that pouch and keep it about. I might even, it has a, a wristlet, I might even put a little hook under my shelf that's in front of me. So the bag, you can't see it, but the bag will actually hang like that against my wall, which means, I mean, it's not unattractive to look at, but it also means that it will visually remind me um, that, you know, I need to make sure that I'm keeping my logbook up to date because I do love a good record. Oh, I went to put this away thinking that my 600s were in the next box and they're not. They're in this box, so let's pop this away. I am everywhere today. 648. Okay. Now I'm done with this box, and now I get the box that's squashed to goodness. And that is the 700s to 900s. This bad boy, look, I can't even get the bags down properly on this side, is jam diddly packed. Okay, 762. 762, oh, I'll get them in there. I don't want to fight if I can help it. I probably should have tried to squeeze 317 and 318 in, but... And actually, that one is more like 762, or what I believe to be 762, than some of these in here, anyway. Depends. My squares are a lot lighter. They're a complete mixture. It'd be fine. I can match it to the closest that I'm missing, if I'm missing any. Okay, 819... That's another one that's pretty full, but I reckon I'll get these in. Because when I let the air back in, it goes a lot, a lot thinner. I like to flatten the air out because it saves space in my box and it makes the bag look pretty. And I'm pushing down there and they're popping up the other side. That's 819934. Oh my goodness me. Let's see if I can find it in these 900s. It's here. And I want the round. Quite a dark green, that one. Flatten them down, 7, so they stand up and look nice. Okay, we've finished fighting with my monster box. So 
So let's pop the lid back on that one and get my third and final, so far, third and final. <coughs> That's why I'm thinking of splitting the boxes, because I'm thinking if I can have two of each, then I'm only taking out two boxes when I de-kit, because I'm either de-kitting a round or I'm de-kitting a square. I don't tend to do both at the same time because as much as I enjoy this process of putting the diamonds away and tidying up, I don't fancy a mammoth session on it. I actually enjoy the sort of logbook organisation side of things a little bit more than just tipping colours in. Um, I like the fact that if I've not had the colour before, I'm updating a little sheet and keeping organised. So... But I prefer the ones with a few less colours because then it's 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 not as long a process tipping diamonds in. Okay, three seven nine nine. That's getting pretty full. It's not too bad. So three seven nine nine. And then we've got two more, which will be right at the end. I'm pretty sure I have got these already, but I'll just check before I put my logbook away. So 3865. I actually don't have that many in, in round. I know I have a lot in square. I have bags and bags of it in square, but it's in my heaven and earth design, so it's not stored in this box. I'm actually surprised how little of the rounds I have. I'm sure that will change. Especially considering I think I have smaller paintings anyway, definitely small paintings. I have more round in my stash than I do square. So I'm sure they will fill up as we go along. So 3866. Okay, so that's those diamonds away in my spares. And then let me just grab my extras, extras box. This is just a basic cardboard box. So this is how you could start off. If maybe you're new to diamond painting and you just want to start keeping hold of your spare diamonds. So these are all my bags of 310 in round, just a few. I have a huge bag of 310s in squares. And that's actually stored somewhere completely different just because it's so big. So that's three tens. Do I have any of the others already in here? Oh, I do. See, I have 317 and 318 in a bag already. Because, of course, they're full. So 317. Throw them in. kind of think I should maybe see it's 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 this whole way up between being pretty and just making myself too much work is of getting some smaller bags you know for these that are sort of extras get some smaller bags that would be easy to sort of send off in the post for people um, and actually have them prepped and ready in this box but then I think that's a lot of work for a diamond that might not go anywhere because somebody might not need the colour, especially the likes of 310. Yes, occasionally people ask for them because, you know, they're new to diamond painting and they need them. Um, however, so many people have them. The, the request for them is quite often dealt with extremely quickly. So I feel like I'd be, you know, making up little packages of diamonds to then not go anywhere. But I do enjoy the process, so we'll see. So this is done and dusted. That is done and dusted. Dekitted, logbook updated. Quite proud of myself on that one. Um, so yeah, 
Let me know your thoughts on the painting. Did you think it was cute and funny? Because I sure did. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.